I want to talk about something. Go on. Yeah, man. I want to talk about something that we've talked about before oh. Oh. in an episode. Oh. Ep- episode 33. It's called the Ig Nobel Prizes. Prizes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Prizes. It's a difficult because word. Because there, there is more than one. Yeah. It's kind of like a mock ceremony of the Nobel the, the, Nobel the Nobel Prize. Yeah, the Nobel Prize. Yeah, the Nobel, yeah I was going to say the Nobel Awards. No. Um, <laughs> it's for like weird, quirky, strange scientific experiments that do have actual real life discoveries that are useful. Um, so previously we've talked about how cats are liquid. Oh, yeah. That, that won an Ig Nobel Prize. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we, did, talked we about, did talk about um, that one. Yeah. Cubic wombat poo. There's another one we've talked about. So there's like, there's quite a few of them. They're pretty cool. Even though we did say we'd go to them uh covid happened we couldn't go to america and so uh it was all streamed online this it was year. the egg nobel prizes were streamed last week and so i want to talk about a few of the winners from this year's egg nobel prizes oh, oh, that's brilliant okay. gosh the acoustics prize uh, alligator on helium <laughs> Oh, I liked this one. Alligator on helium. So uh, apparently it was a test to see if reptile voices resonate similar, similar, similar to humans or birds. So they filled a tank with helium, with like a helium oxygen mix. And they placed a female alligator in the tank <laughs> and waited for her to bellow. And apparently it worked. Our subject was a Chinese alligator. There, there is scientific merit behind it. Well, that's definitely a brilliant candidate for an Ig Nobel Prize, putting an alligator in a tank of helium and waiting for it to roar. Like, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> she was just sitting there, chilling out, honestly. Like, she was having a great time with it. it. Floated out. <laughs> Inhaled too much to start floating out the tank. Then you got a flying alligator. That's a real problem. <laughs> that probably would have won two Ig Nobel Prizes. <laughs> we made flying alligators. And a Sharknado sequel to boot as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another one was... Um, about arachnophobic entomologists. The Entomology Prize. Entomologists are, of course, bug researchers, I yeah. believe. People who just like to study bugs. And uh, a questionnaire discovered that most people who study arachnids... So, most people who study bugs are scared of arachnids, which... Um, I, I I don't generally separate arachnids and bugs in my mind. They're all like buggy. Yeah, it's exactly right. So it's like <laughs> insects have six legs and arachnids have well, six it's legs. It's the difference of two legs. Yeah, it's right. the difference of two legs. Yeah. 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 Which, Which you wouldn't quite... expect them to be scared. I mean, they work with bugs all day. You think they'd be used to it, but like... You add two legs, like, oh, like, ah, two legs, I can't deal with that. <laughs> you take two legs off a spider, it's like, oh, this is normal. I, don't I like think this. It's the number of legs that make a spider scary. I, think it, I like to think it really? is. It's like the shape. It's like they're really big compared to actually how big they are. They're like, really spread themselves out. They're like, Spindly, legs go yeah, up in yeah. the air and they just look so cute. I like them. No, scary. They're really no, quick they're as really well, cute. a lot of the time. Oh, they're so fast. Mm. They're so cool. Go spiders, man. No. Go spiders. <laughs> there was another one about, um, Hitmen being contracted by other hitmen um, so, <laughs> uh, to do with it was something to do with management. After accepting payment to perform the murder, Shi Guang An then instead subcontracted the task to Ma Tian Xiang, who then instead subcontracted the task to Yang Kang Sheng, who then instead subcontracted the task to Yang Guang Sheng who then instead subcontracted the task to Ling Xian Se, with each subsequently enlisted hitman receiving a smaller percentage of the fee and nobody actually performing a murder. Each individual person was like, oh, I'm not going to do this job by myself. I'm going to get someone else to do it for me. It just never happened. So it, happened. it, wasn't, an ex- it wasn't a purpose experiment. No, no, I this was wasn't like, an experiment. This was like a, man- a weird thing so- to... To test for yeah so like sometimes what they do is they give out prizes right. just for like silly things that happen um right. <laughs> like so this is a, okay. this is the nobel prize in management i think they also gave a, a peace prize this year to, to two to two countries they but, did they gave a peace prize to india and pakistan the Ig Nobel peace prize is awarded to the governments of india and pakistan for having their diplomats surreptitiously ring each other's doorbells in the middle of the night and then run away before anyone had a chance to answer the door. That's essentially, in a, to a certain extent, what like organized sport is for. Is like it's sort of peacetime war. Um, it's like testing our strongest people against your strongest people and seeing who wins. It's like kind of a similar sort of thing to war, but 
mm. but without sort of uh, death, which is preferable, <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Are there, well, any, are there any more? There was another prize I wanted to talk about, which went to some scientists who researched, I think it's misophonia or misophonia. Oh, oh misophonia, yeah. Which, yeah. Is, uh, misophonia. which is now apparently, or on the way to becoming, a recognized medical health condition. Uh, and it's where people don't really, like, really hate the sound of people chewing. Misophonia, the distress at hearing other people make chewing sounds. I think someone on this podcast might have it. Uh, Do you? <laughs> yeah. Really? Really bad. Every, well, not really, Every time really you bad. chew in front of the mic, Luke, he, he goes Yeah, do you not him. notice whenever you chew in front of the mic, I can't. Is this I why can... you don't like it when I bring a, a snack to the podcast? Because I can hear it in my ears. Yeah, it's the oh. worst. It's, oh, okay. It's so awful. <laughs> no, like, it's, 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 and it's not just like, oh, I don't like the sound. It's like, I think the whole point of it is that um, you get feelings of like, you get like they call it like aggression or whatever but like yeah. you just get really really distressed mm. like apparently some people will just not leave their rooms and stuff they'll just they'll socially isolate so there were quite a few winners of the Ig Nobel prizes this year but um what did they win you might be asking <laughs> what is the prize for winning an Ig Nobel prize 10 trillion dollars amazing for each person US dollars Zimbabwean dollars a Zimbabwean ten trillion dollar bill. A real Zimbabwean ten trillion dollar bill? Well, you know, with the pandemic uh, this year, uh, we've had to make some adjustments. Mm. So the winners will receive a real counterfeit Zimbabwean ten trillion dollar bill. Risque. <laughs> Do know. they win anything else? Um, nothing. Does that mean that the Ig Nobel um, organization could be like locked up for money, lo like money laundering or something? <laughs> well, not money laundering. It'd be well, it would be uh, counterfeit production of money, circulating, yeah. circulating counterfeit. Yeah, but right. also they're not in Zimbabwe, so I think they're good. And uh, lastly, I wanted to ask Corey, can you tell us because you've watched it? Obviously, you watched mm -hmm. the ceremony. Could you tell us a bit about the um the cockroach opera that was interspersed throughout? the entirety of the awards ceremony. <laughs> it was very because weird. I, I would love to reading about this, but I would have loved to see it even more. Um, it was very odd. Every now and then there'd be a break from the the prizes that were being given out and all the other things. Um, and they would just sing a song about a story about a cockroach who was turned into a person and then started speaking to uh, a bunch of entomologists who then decided that they used to be bugs as well and right. they turned into people. And then the entire world decided that they had once been bugs and they had turned into people. A dung beetle had a solo talking about his I exquisite taste. Yes, 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 I'm a dung beetle. I have a taste for what you jokers waste. I ask you entomologically, give me R E S P E C T. It was very good and very very weird. Nice. But everyone performing was um, a scientist, and you know there were I think there was a, or doctors. Um, good. It's a it's a very it was very fun. Good. Please remember this one thing. If you did not win an Ig Nobel Prize this year, and especially if you did, better luck next year. Thank you. If you enjoyed that clip, head over to patreon.com forward slash SciGuys where you can find the full show. Or you can stay here and catch up on old SciGuys episodes. Or you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at SciGuysPod to find out when we're doing more live shows.